searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Subsistence on my softcore playthrough. Alright, we spent the night at the tower. I actually got an amazing shot. Now when I was swimming over here, some hunters attacked. So I was about, uh, I don't want to overstate it. I'd say maybe right around there or, you know, right about there in the middle of the lake. And I used my rifle and I shot a, uh, a hunter right in the head and put him down with one shot. It was actually pretty nice. But I spent the night up here. I was able to cook some food so that I didn't starve. Got myself set up over here again. And I went ahead and started making some adjustments so I could try to plan out how I'm going to move the structure. And I think I'm gonna move it here where the enders will come in here. This will be a workbench and a fire. And then once I'm done, I won't need this piece right here which is causing the problem. So I need to move all that. And the problem is I kind of need to move it from the top down because once I move this, I won't be able to get back to it again. So that's going to make it interesting. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. That's been a problem. Like I said, I'm thinking about doing that on a stream. We'll see what happens. I went ahead and moved my uh, planters down here. I'm going to maintain the planters here. If I have extra seeds, I'll go ahead and plant them down here might as well it's a waste not to use them and those two steaks don't have much longer should have eaten one of those honestly but let's head back to my regular place we're gonna go ahead and drop off pick some stuff up check it out and then we'll go mess with some hunters today I feel like I haven't spent enough time here recently messing with hunters and it's not because I'm scared it's just I've had other things going on and I don't even have my pick on me while I was up there, I had several nodes pop in, copper, iron, and I'm like, you know what, I'm just sitting here, I'm also picked those up, and yeah, I didn't have a pick on me. So I gotta find my pick and see what I did with it. It wasn't uh, the old place. But yeah, so I'm definitely gonna save the, uh, uh, the tower part, the lighthouse. I'm just going to uh, put it higher up on the rock. See if I can make it so that the hunters uh, don't attack it anymore. Yeah, cool. I almost shot my own chicken. I was like, chicken! I was like, Ugh! catch it or eat it or something. Extract. Go ahead and replant this right away. At least we don't have the extract all. I could inadvertently eat three extra ones, but... At least I'm not going to uh, eat the entire stack. I wouldn't be very happy if I did that. Oh, two, one too many. I'll eat one. Immediately turn around and get these planted right away. These are fully upgraded, right? Yep. Cool. And are you fully upgraded? Yes, it is. Good. I don't have to put stuff in here. I, I'm going to put fertilizer for sure. Let's see. What's my water situation? This is running, right? Yep. I'm up to four. I've never... I don't think I've ever used bottled water for plants before. Oh, you're still going, huh? Awesome. And my power's in. That's, that's good. That means I've got a good balance going on right now. Actually, let me use a dump chest to put all this stuff away. What does one bottle of water do here? From 3% to 32%. Ouch! Nope, I won't be doing that as a waste of bottled water. Not like I don't have a lot of it, but ow! So I got like 31% from that. I'm at 32%. Ooh. You get a little bit more from a canteen of clean water than you do from bottled water. Okay. And we're going to have to make um, a canteen run today anyway, so. 
Not gonna waste that. Oh, there's a good. Let me get the fertilizer. Ah, the better fertilizer. Takes very little of this to fertilize the plants. And I'll take some with me back to the other place, I think. And all the canteens. We'll do a quick canteen run so I can at least get dirty water. And then we're going to go mess with hunters. Leave those two stakes there. I shall take one with me. Hopefully the older steak. I, I don't know which one I, I picked. Hopefully I picked the younger steak. Leave the older one in the refrigerator. Would be nice. So I'll make a quick run for water. And then I won't be boiling it or anything today. I'll just drop it off in the, the water chest. And then we'll go see what the hunters are up to. I also got a level one deer. I was sitting up there and it's like it, I think I saw it spawn in, but all of a sudden there was a deer down below me in front of the old place. And I was like, level one, I went, oh, I'm gonna go for this deer. Might as well get some extra. Oh, I forgot to grab my pick. All right, I'll do that next time. Keep forgetting my pick and watch, I'll forget again when I get over there, I know it. I don't even know where it is, to be honest. Oh, I was gonna say, why did I come up here? And now I'm glad I did. Just stay there. You can stand all you want. Just make sure you stay there. Almost dropped it. It was close. Now, I would be nice if there was an automatic. So I can just hold over and use so I can fill it. Cold games, it would be really nice if we could do that. I know I can hold it over and just hit E and drink. It'd be nice if it was empty that I could just hold the mouse over and hit E to fill it. It's a quality of life thing. It's not like do it or I'll never play the game again. It's kind of a, it just feels better. I don't know, I'm on. Now I'm gonna run up here real quick. I'm not going to waste water over here for now, but oops, let's go ahead and plant some extra tomatoes over here. Having uh, two extra, having two extra planters over here that I'm not really paying attention to. And when I come over and they have, you know, a full stack of tomatoes in it, that's just, it's just going to be so much nicer. All right, let's run back. I will grab the pick this time, and then I want to go find at least, you know, I like to get some rogue hunters. I feel like getting wood. I get a lot more wood from rogue hunters than regular hunters. But yeah, the top of that lighthouse is going to be kind of interesting to, uh, to move. I'm actually going to have to build an extra BCU to stick it up there so that I can uh, move those lights. And then destroy that BCU so that... It, I don't know yet if I wanted to put... No, I have to destroy the BCU because if not, they'll be firing uh, the uh, grenade-tipped arrows up at it for no reason. I don't want them to do that. Uh, all that stuff, um, you know, drop that, keep that, drop that. Yeah, nails and oil, I wanted that more. <laughs> and I know I'm gonna drop it, but my instinct is to pick it up, I can't help it. It's my instinct. Now what you don't wanna do is inadvertently try to pick up your own Hmm, that one didn't drop, but I didn't know where I picked it up. I don't think I stored it. You don't want to inadvertently pick up your chicken over here. Don't touch your chicken. Because if you grab your chicken, when you drop it, it, it's no longer attached to the house, and he runs off, and you'll lose him forever. Unless you can catch him quickly. Once they get out of sight, I think they kind of just, they're gone. Here. All right. This will be taken care of later. 
eat that now. I know that steak's gonna go bad soon, so I'll just go ahead and eat it. It's a steak I cooked in the middle of the night, so didn't have much time left on it. All right, where's my pick? There we go. I should have that on me. All right, hunting time, huh? Oh, I got extra tomatoes. Drop those off. Now, if I can get two or three wellheads up collecting, I know I passed the ore. I'm ooh. these I won't pass up. The ore I'll pass up for now. But if I if I'm stuck someplace again, I want to be able to at least pick up the ore because I felt kind of dumb. I'm seeing all this ore, and you know I could have taken that. I could have taken the hatchet to it, but it just feels dirty when you do that. I don't like feeling dirty. Okay. We'll go back this way. Nah, if you're, you must be on the top of that rock. Yep. And I do agree. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. You need to die because I have rope hunters right now. I love when they bark after they're already dead. And their head's already blown off. It's like a death scream. All right, so I have hunters right here, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm so close to my house, so get up. Go. Ah, nope, nope, nope. Don't shoot that bow in my butt. All right. What are you gonna do when I start firing arrows at you? Come on, come on, oh, come on. Don't do the running back and thing thing. That really blows. I have to get close enough so he'll aggro on me. And I, did I miss him? I missed him, oh my lord. If he pulls out a bow, I duck. Oh, there we go. All right, I'll use the bandage real quick. And you guys are really close to my place. All right, uh, I'm not gonna complain. And that was a nice long shot. I aimed for the neck this time. I usually miss that shot, so I guess it was more, because I, I think you're supposed to aim for the chin to have a good chance to hit in the head from a shot that far out. Though, I mean, it wasn't like that far out, but you know what I'm saying. Ah, oh, look at the wood. 20 logs. No planks, but I got a lot of logs. And yes, getting logs is good, boys and girls. <laughs> All right, do I want to repeat? This is a regular hunters, but... Oh, where'd you come from? You're a regular hunter, but where did you come from, buddy? Oh, you didn't have protection. You're like, I don't have protection. Ah! Waste of an arrow. Go back for it. Back. Come here. Come here. You don't have protection. Goodbye. Too bad. So sad. I got a lot of 9 mil ammo. I it up. Oh, two moving shots on him. That was nice. He was... Oh, no. I hear a bow. Gonna duck. There we go. That's a lot of damage. I don't want to take a bow shot. If I have to. Damn armor. All right, I'm tired of this. Come here. Hiding behind the tree. I hate when they hide behind trees. It makes sense to hide behind trees and it's perfectly logical to use cover, but I still hate it. I was looking for that arrow. I don't think I'm gonna find it. All right, so that was a roamer. A hunter that's out a good distance from a regular hunter camp. I was getting ready to take a pop shot at one of his buddies because I wanted to do another long shot to make myself look, you know, MLG excellent or something. And uh, yeah, that didn't work. I'm going to save the first aid kit for a second. And I'll cook this liver. 
and I'll eat that steak real quick. Might as well. And I'll run and grab that construction box. That's awesome. Getting good loot today. Now, I'd rather have some more rogue hunters, but I'm not gonna say no to the loot I'm getting. Ammo's doing good. Let's go ahead and get all my weapons reloaded. Just in case. 20 arrows. I need to make arrows soon, too. All right, anything else I can loot in the general area? Don't wanna waste too much time, but... No, nope. all right, I'm gonna go sit over here for a second and get my fire, uh, that fire buff going. That's almost cooked. Uh, grub. I'll hold the grub. I do need to go do some fishing. I feel the need for some fish. And they gave me some lures, too, so I might as well. It's free tackle. I might as well use it and try to catch some salmon so I can get my oil. I mean, I got four fish oil already, but maybe I'll get lucky in the two tackle they gave me. Uh, let me get some more fish oil. Then I'll really be swimming in oil, but that doesn't sound too good. Swimming in fish oil, it doesn't seem appealing. Not in any way, shape, or form. I guess it might be more it might be more appealing than getting wood from rogue hunters, but I get excited when I get wood from rogue hunters. That's like the height of my day. Don't get between me and my wood from rogue hunters. The dangerous place to be. Yes, enjoy that. Have fun. Haven't you guys missed me? <laughs> All right, let's see what I can find. Hello, rogue hunters. Hello. No, I really wish I I would allow myself to use. There's a tool out there that uses a Unity program, and it runs outside of subsistence and allows you to see where the hunter bases are at in co-op worlds. It used to work for Solar Player, I think, because I was asked by the the author to test it, and it stopped working on Solar, but it still worked on multiplayer. It would be nice to know where the hunters are at, so I could go find them easier, but. I try not to cheat. Using it for that purpose would be cheating. Now, I think it was it was made originally so somebody who's trying to host a uh, a multiplayer world can uh, assist and help people that come in don't know what they're doing. Can uh, tell them where they're at and where which way they need to go to find you, or get to an area of safety or. If they're not sure what's going on, you can look at them and see if they're sick. You know, that type of stuff. But, you know, the, the cheaty McCheaty thing to do with it is to watch the hunters and know which way they're coming in for an attack or where the hunter bases are at so that you don't inadvertently run into them. It might be nice if it showed where the bears are at, then I might want to use it. Because <laughs> you guys know my history with bears it just never ends well. All right, there is a bear, at least two. Yeah, there was one behind for sure. I think there was one up the hill and to the right. Oh, lock chest. Of course, I have no lock picks. I need to make a couple of those and start carrying them on me. So as long as I'm picking up normal loot day to day, I really don't have a lot of requirements right now. Until I start dying and then you know, I need to make armor. That'd be a different story. But for right now, I'm doing pretty good. And I still only have that one hunter base. So, but the the new hunter base hasn't gotten to what I'll call stage two. It only has the bottom floor of the second floor. I typically see more hunter bases popping in once they've got walls up on the second floor. So I'm still holding out to see if I'm gonna get how many extra hunter bases I'll get. If it's only four, then I think I'll leave the ones. I'm not gonna turn the hunters off. There's no reason to. I'm pretty sure with uh, the game mechanics the way they are now that I can handle it. All right, get a tomato to keep my stamina up. Definitely do not wanna run out of stamina.
when you're running around looking for uh, rogue hunters so you can get wood, you definitely want to keep it up. You don't want to let your stamina drop too far. A saggy stamina bar, it just it's just embarrassing. And yes, I do this stuff on purpose. Honestly, I do. Okay, bear. Okay, I'll leave you alone. All right, we'll run home real quick and I'll grab a little bit more ash from you. Thank you very much. You know, I wish Cold Games would come up with another use for ash. I think we need another uh, another ash recipe. Got to be careful how I say that. I don't want to have a slip of the tongue. Get upstairs, open, whoops. Oh, I tried to back up and I opened it right on top of myself and I couldn't do that. I mean, I can leave that thing down so I can easily get up and down faster because that's part of my issue I think with that is I have to get underneath it to pick it up. All right, let's drop. Oh, I think I dropped the fat in the wrong one, but that's okay. I'll be spending the night making water. Boiling my water. Oh, okay, my power is going down. Oh, am I using too much? No. Wow, I went from... It was up to 600. Oh, no, I am. I've got negative 91 going out and only 64. 0.64 coming in. Let me turn this off. And you know what? I don't actually need these lights on. I mean, I should have the lights on, but I honestly don't need it because I still got 100, uh, 55, 55. Okay, I'm actually good with that. They must be attacking uh, Point Defiance. It's defying them, so they're attacking it. Yep, see, it's the it's the wellhead that's doing it. Alright, I'm gonna turn that off for now. Well, actually, no, it's I thought I had this did I have this upgraded already? No, I didn't. Oh, that's the problem. Two, three, ten. Now I'm short on mass and power. Mass. Five. What does that give me? 75. Too much. Let's go at half. 36. 39. 45. 48. This one will do it. 51. Perfect. Turn that on. I'm gonna turn you off because you're eating too much power. I'll go ahead and turn these back on. Aha, so I had forgot to upgrade something. That's why. I was like, I shouldn't be using that much power up. I'm gonna go ahead and drink it. I knew something was up, but I wasn't paying attention. Well, now we're good. Now let me check my immediate area, see if there's anything I need to do or anything I can grab. I got an egg. Uh, I can use that in a mass recycler too. Save my oil. Sacrifice the egg, but save oil. Are there any loot containers in the area? I'm not seeing any. All right, guys. I don't know for sure if I'm going to stream this weekend. I'm going to try. I want to aim for a Saturday stream. It might be during the day. Uh, like a, an early afternoon, mid-afternoon stream. That's what I'll be sh shooting for this weekend. And like I said, I'll spend a, an hour or two and we'll try to uh, move the uh, the lighthouse and get it centered on the rock. I will, and I will defend myself against any hunter attacks that happen while I'm doing that. Within reason. Oh, oh, oh. I don't care about you, bear. I'm grabbing scrap metal. 
Scrap metal is a precious resource on this map. Well, on any map. But I definitely want my scrap metal. Alright, there is going to be a dead wolf if I can't get this. Alright, good. Ooh, night. Oh, God, look at all those nails. 16 nails for one box. That's a bingo. If I haven't, if I've never seen one, that was definitely a bingo. All right, guys and gals. Well, my time is up for today. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on my software playthrough. If you guys have enjoyed this content, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.